So we are out this morning with Rachel from YMTV. Um, doing some skills training, finally, proper. But Rachel's being incredibly patient. Really solid guidance through. You can go first. Huh? You can go first. And she's coming to a stop. An insane amount of front brake as they come in to stop. I'm like, okay, oh, no, we need to I stop this. I had a real. <laughs> We've been over the bars a few times doing yeah, that. So. <laughs> Might have been sideways. I hadn't gone. Yeah, you've just... gone over. Yeah. Gone over. All right, let's not do that. Yeah, it's <laughs> That's going to be good. No, I'd say my must have started when I was like 23. I'm 34 now. So, yeah. Just. You don't, you're still at 23. You're like, don't have the bounciness of a 15, <laughs> no, 16. So <laughs> what I might do. Right. No, I knew it was going to happen. It absolutely doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Probably thinking it too much, I yeah. think. Yeah, I know, I'll say, I know I think too much. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll just roll down the fire. Feel free to come with us, so it doesn't imply so much to you. But I just want you to move the bike around underneath you as we just roll down. So if we get the cones, we're just going like, to roll down to the corner together. Like I say, come with me. Into your ready position. Yep. Okay. Nice thing you use and start to push it around. So you move the bike. So I mean, that's <laughs> alright. when people are trying to get used to things is going further and further back and keep that nice wide elbows in a big sort of rectangle here and spin over the stem at the same time right so look where you're going so we'll be looking at the second set of cones right foot down that's better that's much better <laughs> cool right just try and make it a bit slighter get you just trying to
like time that you've got yeah. to do something in so go down front wheel up and then you just shift your weight forward a bit you can see your knees bend as you've scooped the bike and then front wheel to back wheel so we just need to make it a bit more pronounced so as you get that front wheel up just shift your weight forward a little bit quicker and lift scoop that back wheel up but that's a proper bunny hop well um there's two different words isn't there like american and english yeah. bunny hop we're just thinking about <laughs> and basically want to land here so we can give ourselves that little chunk of speed. Give it a ride through and roll them. Yeah, I know. And then, okay, I'll tell you what to do, right? Ride it through and roll it. Right. Then ride it through. And when you get to here, just think about, so you've pushed in here as you would pump into this divot. Yep. So you push into the bike. Then just go light. So you think about just bringing your body weight up a little bit and lightening that bike. So when we're over these roofs, the bike goes nice and light and then pump down once you know you're past them. Right. Feeling better about this section? <laughs> Just okay. come in here, push down and then so you're nice and compressed, just like you are when you start your manual. So you you come a bit closer to the bike, and then over this section, just go light. So bring your body weight back up again, yeah. go light, and then get ready to push down into that next section again. <coughs> yes! <laughs> Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just put that in practice everywhere on the trail. You're nice and low. Then you come up. Your, your wheel takes off before that route. Look, clear them all. And then you go oh, yeah. down into the dip. The back wheel goes into a perfect position because that is where you want to land to get that pump of speed. Because then what you do is pump up here and probably stay on the ground for this bit because it's nice and smooth. Yep. So you can pump up and over this divot, pump through here, and get yourself onto that left line. So stay nice and high on those roots, close to the tree. I can't get this corner. Looking at the corner, now looking at the future trail. Yes. He's better than he thinks he is. He doesn't know that he has the skills, but he does. Yeah, he'll, he never says he has. He's always paranoid that everybody's like, no, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. I was like, so I keep saying to him, go and ride with other people because I think yeah. I hold you back as well. Yeah. Well, I, well, no, you don't, but he just, sometimes it's just good to watch other people and learn. Yeah, like, so you but, ride with better people, it makes you better, doesn't yeah. it? That's the thing. I said to him up there, I was like, just, we're gonna bunny hop these roots. And he's like, <laughs> and then so I was like, look, just ride through it. And I was like, then think about going light over the roots. So I went and watched him, cleared the lot of them. I was like, just <laughs> so right. you think like, I can't do that. I was like, yeah, you, you did. And smoothly. Right. Uh, yes, okay, go. We're let's do this. Trail. <laughs> right, eyes up, eyes up. Eyes up.
water. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was emotional. I did, yeah, it's a bit foggy. Lighter and smoother than sometimes, yeah. actually. So I always sort of up and over from so as you go, way, I go, no. <laughs> the best Absorb. thing to do is like, is just stay loose because your yeah. bike will sort a load of stuff out and as long as you just stay loose and like sort of pliable on top of it so you're yeah. in control of it but just to absorb stuff I is the best way to be. first that felt so much better than normal. Yeah, and then I'm looking, I'm sort of scrambling, going, where's it, where's it rutty, and where's it? And yeah, and the really tight one before the steep bit, where I was like, look right round to the right now. Like you have to look so early, so you're looking as you enter the corner, and that one's back on itself. Yeah, it feels odd, it, but you really yeah, need you to peel like, yeah. your eyes up and round. It yeah, feels like you're going to be like pulling some G's or something in there. <laughs> and then when you you went down the hill into the the steepest roughest bit. Yeah. And you remember, so. On that one, you were just a little bit to the left yeah. because the corner is going round to the left. Yeah. Stay on the right so you've got the time to give yourself. So you enter the corner from the right nice and wide, okay? Yeah. And then that will just help you because you give yourself more room. We're here in the ready position. Yeah. As the wheel gets to the edge, you're going to be have your have come in and lowered your chest like you yeah. do for the manuals, and then you're just going to push through your feet, push your bottom back, and let your arms send the bike out. So we're not going to pull. Not going to go up. We're just, we're just going to let that bike glide out, and you're going to move your weight back a little bit yeah. to keep that bike not that at the same level until we drop two wheels together. If you just want to give this first one a go, just to get the practice, yeah. I'm sure we'll interview the others real quick. If you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. It's all completely rollable. Okay. The two. Oh. Ah. <laughs> there was a third one there. <laughs> Doesn't for sheer terror. First one's good. Yeah, I think you are just a little bit nervous of the second one. Yeah. But it's all right because you've got a corner to think about. So when you come in, nice and low, then let the bottom go back a little bit more and let okay, that front yeah. wheel glide out, okay? So it's drop, dropping down quite quickly, okay? Yeah. So this one, they go off together and almost land together. Yeah. But this one then, because it's a little bit bigger, accentuates it. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna watch him. Right, yeah. ask him to compress and lift the front up. Yeah, again, again! <laughs> I didn't even touch the right, stone, a little then. bit more. It started. I'm trying to get him to jump it. I was going to say, he cleared slope. the slab. He didn't touch it on the way over. That's what we're looking for. And so he... Don't shake your head. <laughs> you didn't touch the slab. <laughs> you went over it. Yeah, so I just hips back a little bit. I'm still thinking, oh, where's my edge? Where's my? I'm good. <laughs> Feel alright? Yep. <laughs> um, go up to the top and do it again because only because I think you'll feel more confident the second time round. Now you know what's there. But it's good. That that one is excellent. No, it's so smooth. So smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna find my bike. Um, <coughs> Are we sure how it's done? Me? Let's go on then. Should we train it down? Good. <laughs> Tell me to go down. Do three. All right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. What 
we do is we'll just um, head back to the centre. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got lots of stuff which must be come back for you from your childhood and it just needs to... It's a, it's, a fear. Yeah. it's a fear. Yeah. And it's just experimenting with grip levels like you say, getting used to like different bits of kit, that yeah, makes yeah. a massive improvement. But you've got loads of skills there that you just need to put into use on the trail and you're going to come on in leaps and bounds because like, cornering, weight on the outside, gives you more grip, lean it further, go around the top corner tighter and faster, things like bunny hopping roots. Yeah. And just stay in light over all that trail chatter that your wheels don't need to touch will keep give you speed and then just look on the trail everywhere that you're looking look for stuff to bunny hop look for little downsides to just go light and push into and give yourself a find pumps on the trail basically and yeah literally you'll get faster and smoother every time you ride you everything <laughs> that you do needs to think outside foot down look where you're going so wait the outside of the bike watch Simon ride okay yeah. and just think what he's doing on trail and just see if you can copy yeah okay and so and just make everything um, routine so it is routine that you have the outside foot down that you are looking as far head down the trail <laughs> yes. as you can yeah. so you're almost like looking for that trail horizon all the time because you will have looked at the trail and you know what's going on and, it, and then it's telling yourself that you know what's there you don't yeah. need to look back at it again because that's what I used to do when I started learning yeah. I'd be like Okay, I've looked, I'm looking down the trail now, but what was there? Oh yeah, no, it's fine. So you don't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and just everything becomes smoother because whatever your eyes do and your body does, it sort of it ripples down your body. So yeah. your eyes turn, your head turns, your body starts to turn and it'll help you corner better. Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, we'll pick you wherever you go. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, did you want any of these videos? Oh,